What is going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good day so far. Uh, so it's been a few weeks since I made my last video. Uh, I've been so busy the last few weeks trying to keep up with growing at my house, growing at the warehouse and work. Uh, I just haven't had the time to make a quick video, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I had a lot of requests to make a harvest video of the Jungle Boys. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get around to it. Um, I work four days a week, and then I'm trying to take care of the warehouse and here we harvested there uh, a few weeks ago so we've been cleaning up we've been getting everything ready for our next run uh, everything's hang drying uh, and we, we're in the middle of bucking and trimming right now along with me trying to harvest out the jungle boys uh, take care of the Sunday punch and the runts uh, it just got a little hectic and uh, yeah I apologize for not being able to make a quick update for you guys uh we will go down into the garden uh after this video or in the next video i'm not sure uh, i just wanted to give you kind of an update on what's been going on uh we are about to harvest out on the runs today or tomorrow i'm not sure when i want to get started with it uh, but i am going to make a video for you guys before i do uh, i just wanted to share with you a couple of new things that i got so right here is the Canon T6i. This is what I shoot all of my YouTube videos on. Uh, it shoots in 1080p, 30 frames a second. Uh, I've had this camera for a little over four and a half years now, and uh, I thought it would it was time to upgrade. Uh, so I went ahead and upgraded to Canon's new mirrorless system right here. Uh, this is the Canon EOS R5, 45 megapixel sensor. Uh, it shoots 4K and 120 frames per second, 8K RAW, um, and I'm super excited about this camera, you guys. Uh, this lens right here is a 28 to 70 uh, f/2. Uh, it's not going to be as wide as this one this is a 10 to 18 uh, but I am in the future going to be getting a wide angle lens for this uh, so that way I can go back to making uh, the normal YouTube videos with that type of depth of field uh, I'm gonna have to take a couple steps back in order to get the same um, view as the other one but for right now um, the 28 to 70 is what I have and I just wanted to share with you guys this um, and that all of my videos moving forward are going to be in 4K as long as my computer can handle editing 4K footage. Right now, um, it's not doing very well, so I'm going to be upgrading the RAM and trying to do a couple things so that I can start pumping out 4K footage for you guys. Uh, and just make sure the t three buttons up here, I think, I believe, uh, make sure that the quality is up to 1080p or higher, uh, just so you can experience the full resolution of this camera. Uh, even if you have a 4K TV, um, this is going to look amazing on it. If you have an 8K TV, it's going to look amazing on it. Uh, so I hope I do really well with this and uh, make you guys happy. But the image quality is unreal I mean just compared to what I'm used to with this 1080p camera uh, the autofocus is insanely fast uh, the clarity how crisp it is uh, everything about this camera I'm in love with um, it did cost for the body 4,000 and for the lens it was 3,000 uh, and the combo together just is a dream uh, but yeah sorry I kind of went on a tangent there uh, but yeah Upgraded camera, video quality is going to get a lot better, um, but the Jungle Boys. So I harvested out the Jungle Boys uh, September 29th. Um, they, it's, so since then, it's dried, and I just got done trimming everything a couple days ago. Uh, and the final weight for the Jungle Boys Pheno Hunt was 489 grams. Uh, I was super pleased to get over... A pound when my tent wasn't even full 
Um, there was a lot of space in between each plant, um, but I pulled over a pound, which I'm super pleased with. Uh, I have three phenos that I am definitely going to be running again and narrowing it down from those three to just one. Um, right here, the Jungle Boy is number two. This is probably the sweetest and the most subtle sweet strawberries um creamy i guess like a strawberry cream is what it smells like uh it's just super subtle super fruity um it just smells absolutely amazing uh and if you were watching any of my other videos um this one this plant right here was the smallest one it was in the back on the right side uh and and this still yielded uh over two ounces um, off of it, which I was super pleased with. My average yield uh, was about two and a half to over two and a half ounces per plant. Uh, my second my, or my third favorite right here um, is the number four. This one is definitely the uh, most cush leaning. Like you get very, very, very small hints of. Uh, fruit in it it's more gas and kush smelling uh the number four was in the middle in the back of the tent uh, this was one of my favorites watching it grow and it came out with like super rock hard nugs uh super dense uh they look good bag appeal uh, this one yielded over two and a half ounces uh, right here we have the number five, and this one is my favorite of them all. Uh, this one was right in the middle. Boom. Dead center. The number five. This one has a lemonade smell to it. It's pretty crazy. Um, it's, it's, it's reminiscent of like a strawberry or a pink lemonade. It has that like tart smell to it. And you get that just as soon as you crack the lid on this. Uh, and the number five right here yielded the most. This yielded over three ounces off of that one plant. And uh, I was super pleased with it because I was eyeballing this one from the very first day. Uh, I thought this one was going to perform the best, and it did covered in trichomes. It looks absolutely amazing. And I can't wait uh, to run this again in my new setup. But those are the three that I'm going to be keeping. Uh, the other phenos, they they still weigh, they still weighed a lot. Uh, I still got a lot of weight off of them. It just wasn't um, what I was looking for. And uh, some were a little bit larfier than others. Some were a little bit harder to trim. Uh, this number five kind of had it all. It was easy to trim yielded the most has a crazy smell to it and uh i just can't wait to get this one going again uh, other other big news um, that happened over the last few weeks is uh, my girlfriend and i we found a house and our offer got accepted on sunday so we just bought a house uh super excited about it our closing date is going to be early december i believe so we are going to be out of the house that i'm currently in all of my runs will be finished up and then i'm going to be taking a little break uh, i'm not sure how long it's going to be until i am back up and going again um, but with moving my girlfriend wants to be able to park into the garage so i'm only going to be able to set up uh, one five by nine and one five by five in the garage uh, because she needs room for her car uh, so it's not I'm, not, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be putting the Gavita and the Think Grow up on the shelf or in storage um, until I am able to build an actual grow room uh, in our backyard. Um, and I'm still gonna have to figure out the dimensions of it and then um, get to working on it. So I'm guessing in the next year, year and a half, uh, I'm gonna be um, up and running again to where I wanna be. Uh, I want to be able to have enough room to get four four by four or I'm sorry four four by eight trays um, and be able to flower in a cycle uh, 
so we'll have to see how that works uh, but yeah guys let's go down and take a look at the runts that I'm about to harvest out on um, I threw the Gak melon from dying breed into flower on the October 3rd yeah October 3rd uh, so they're on day 17 I believe um, but got a lot going on the Sunday puncher in flower the runts are coming down uh, and the Gak melon they are uh, just starting out uh, I, I'll probably upload this video and then my next video I'll be down in the garage uh, and shooting on my new camera this thing is an absolute beast you guys this whole whole thing weighs about five five and a half pounds um, way heavier than I thought it was gonna be this thing right here is so light compared to this but I absolutely love it uh, see you guys in the next video